welcome to Lone Star, where I review movies because she was only 16 years old. So yesterday I went with my parents to go see the movie The Trip. Starring Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon, this movie is an edited down version of the sitcom which has the same name. And no, I haven't seen the sitcom. The two unlikely pair venture around Northern England, dying at the most snobbiest MasterChef-like restaurants. So here are the positives and negatives. The best bit about this movie was the improvised scenes, which was about most of the film. The impersonations that Brydon makes are spot on and hilarious. Oh, say hello to my little friend. And then Sean Connery. Bond. James Bond. But my fave scene was when the two go on about We rise at daybreak. Gentlemen for bed. For we rise at daybreak. Or should I say, Gentlemen to bed. For we rise at 7.15am. Have a 20 minute breakfast. Get packed. And leave at 8! However, the film didn't make much of an impact to me, besides its entertainment value. Not that any English teacher would have their movie in their curriculum. So then, students, what are the values that are in the movie The Trip? I don't know, teacher. I only watch for the British humour. Which, on a side note, makes me wonder what English teachers do after watching a film. The plot for this movie is rather lacking, but honestly, in this movie, it just doesn't matter. The backstory and flaws to each character is simple and understandable. We have Steve, who is egotistical and jealous about what his wife will do around other men, even though he is hypocritical and has a couple of one-night stands. Then there is Rob, who is a family man, but feels a constant need to impress people by overdoing impressions. The chemistry, and no, not scientific chemistry, was great for these two, as they've been in a movie together before. You could hardly believe they were acting because they blended so well together. It's simply because there wasn't anything unnecessary in this film, unlike the new parts of the Caribbean film with that Christian guy. At the end of the movie, my mother, who was born in England, felt homesick. It was because of the small countryside roads that the two drove through, just like when my mum went to Wales. Although I think it is up to the viewer's judgement to tell whether the Yorkshire Dales are lovely or just plain ugly. One would think that it's very bleak and cold, but hey, people call the Amazon hell and that's covered by trees. Another positive, if you love MasterChef or making fun of MasterChef for its dishes, then you'll love the restaurants these two go to because they're full of bizarre dishes, including a serving of scallops to every restaurant Brighton and Coogan go to. Unfortunately, the reason why it hasn't got a 9 or a 10 on IMDb is because it's simply unappealing to stupid Americans. A lot of Americans probably have never heard of Alan Partridge before. This will only be a funny movie if you get British humour. Otherwise, you should go watch Kevin James' new film, The Zookeeper. Thanks for watching me review a mostly good film. So please leave a comment below telling me your opinion on British comedy or this movie. And I'll see you next time.